Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Reno Aces and the Fresno Grizzlies. Stepping in, Alec Thomas. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The one two high fly ball out to straightaway center Stevenson is there and he has it for the first out. now at the plate Seth beer and he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year ready with the one one pitch. Sharply hit ball back up the middle. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Batting third. The right fielder, number nine. Into the box, John Jay. A line shot to third base. But is back in time to avoid the double play. Batting fourth. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kevin Crone. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Now the one and one pitch. Nope, at the ball. Sitting in a good spot right here. Two ball, one strike count is yet to see a fastball. Have to be sitting on one right here. Ball three. And they'll back him off a bit with a fastball in, but it's three and one now. Hit hard down the line, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. That is it. The third base hit. Wyatt. At the plate, Wyatt Matheson. And he's going to deliver the run here as this is a shot into left center field for a base hit. And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. That is this. The second base. Andy Young. Into the box now. Andy Young. Out in front of a fastball as this is ripped down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. And a relay to the plate. Throw won't get him. That is seven. The catcher. To the plate now, Dalton Varsho. Oh, he breaks out the hook there. Good for strike two. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as the side is retired. Digging in, Andrew Stevenson. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And he will whip this one over to first in time for the out. At the plate, Cole Freeman looking for better results than last night when he went 0 for 4 in that one. The 2-1. Strike two, swinging. Two and two. One out, nobody on. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. So bases are empty here with two gone. And in the bat next, the catcher, Wellington Castillo. Not the best change up there, an easy take. To short, right to him. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Into the box now, Camden Duzanak. They'll get us started in the top of the second. 
one of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Count is one and two now. And now pitch on the way. <laughs> Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He can't get there as it falls in. Batting up. The pitcher, number 62. At the plate now, Taylor, Taylor Widener. Widener. And they indeed have the pitcher bunting here as he gets this one down. And the off-balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Now in batting. now, Alec Thomas. 0 for 1 for him Alec. here in this one. Thomas. The 1-1. One, one. And this one's in the dirt. And he'll rein it in as the count moves to one and two. Hit toward the right side. But this will be taken easily at first, and there are two gone. Ready now, Seth Beer. He reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield he's going to wave them in the dirt here the throw will go to third and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch now the 2 1 swung on and fouled as it looked to make it all the way up into the concourse area Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. The 2 2 is at the knees and called strike three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Luis Garcia first at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Pulled toward right center field. Thomas is there and he'll bring this one in. Standing in, Alec Keller. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the three and two pitch. Down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. That is good. The first baseman, Aldrin Corridor. Standing in now, Aldrin Corridor. Popped him up. Chrome in foul ground. He's got it, and there are two down now. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the big right-handed bat of Mac Williamson. And all that gets him on the mound. Throw to first, but he's safe. And now the stadium's attention turns back to the man on the mound. The third baseman. Into the box, Jake Knoll. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. On the ground to third. The throw pulls the first baseman off the bag. Now everybody's going to be safe. Now to the plate, the pitcher, Will Crow. Bases are loaded, so he's looking to get his guys right back into this one. There's a foul ball off to the right side, and that'll move the count to one and two. One and two count. Here's the pitch, and he strikes him out. So a missed opportunity at the plate as he strands three runners, and the side is retired.
Into the box now. John Jay hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last AB. He hit that ball on the screws. Three and one to him now. Fastball in there, three and two. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that's in there, base hit. Now back, the first base. Kevin. Stepping in now, Crow. Kevin Crone. Nope. Just a bit low, a tough call, but it's two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And it's fouled away. Jay on at first, nobody out. Got him. Stepping up to the plate, Wyatt Matheson looking to follow up the RBI single Wyatt. from his first at bat. A 1 1. In the dirt, and now let's see. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. Left side. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Digging in now, Andrew Stevenson, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 2 1 pitch is put in play to the right side of the infield. Off balance throw, but he couldn't get enough on it, so it'll be scored as an infield single. The batter number 15, second baseman, Cole. In now, Cole Freeman. Oh, right back to him on the mound. To second for one. On to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And next will be the power hitting catcher, Wellington Castillo. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Three and one. Two out, nobody on. And a fastball misses there, ball four. So digging in now, Luis Garcia. He flew out in his last at bat. Garcia. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full the three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he may be starting to lose the feel here as that misses for ball four, and that's back to back walks now with two away. Stepping up now, Alec Keller. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Set to deal on two and two. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Fouled away. Skied into straightaway right. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. set for the start of the fourth stepping into the box Andy Young stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat and he's got to build off that last AB he battled usually when you battle you get in that swing mode a lot of pitches you'll swing at the rosin bag I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat let's see if we get more of the same right here even count two balls and two strikes and this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Dalton Varsho waits on deck. Hit hard to third. He's right there. 
throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Coming to the plate now, now Dalton Varsho. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, always Varsho. frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. One ball and two strikes to count. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Dalton Varsho sent packing for the second out of the inning. Swing and a miss. Blew the fastball right by him, and the inning is over. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. Now at the plate, Aldrim Corridor. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 1 home is in off the plate. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now at the plate, Mac Williamson. Bases are empty, one man out. The bouncer to the left side. Throw gets him, two down. Standing in, Jake Knoll. He comes in 0 for 1 on the day thus far after reaching on an error his first time up. Ready to deal, here's the 1 1. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Young is there, and the side is retired. Ready to go in the top of the fifth. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Taylor Widener. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. And not easy to do in today's game. High velocity, exploding, breaking stuff. He executed that sack bunt perfectly. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. Pulled toward right center field. Freeman onto the grass. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup. Stepping in, Alec Thomas. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, pretty unlucky right there, Matty. Squared up a fastball nicely, and that's all you can do. You just want to be on time for the heater, and he's prepared for this next A.B. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. Breaking ball. Called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Now batter. Coming to the plate now, Seth Beer. He's one for two in the ball game. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. If I'm in the box right now, I'm coming unglued. He is going to throw something over the heart of the plate. That's through, and he's now two for three in this one. The right fielder, number nine, John. Into the box yeah. now, John Jay. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. This is pulled into right. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Trace Barrera will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Your Grizzlies, number 73. Barrera. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So striding in, Andrew Stevenson. He's working on a one for two game so far. 
defense. Now the 2 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one, and he's down on strikes for the second out. The batter number 15. Digging in, Cole Freeman. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Freeman. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. And no one will track it down. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Fastball is outside, and it's full now, three and two. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Payoff pitch one more time. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Line drive. Fair ball down the line. Throw into second. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. Now that is catcher. Going fifth. Castillo. At the plate, Wellington Castillo. One and two now as that one's fouled off. From the stretch. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Javi Guerra takes Your over to start the please. sixth inning on the mound. For the Grizzlies, number 48. Top half of the Javi. sixth about to get started. Ready yeah. for another chance. Kevin Crone, one for two in the ball game thus far. Eight. And it's one and two. The count is one and two. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time now tonight. The third base. Now at the plate, Wyatt, Wyatt. Matheson. He's one Matheson. for two in this one. The 2-2. Two -two. Okay. Weak grounder down the line at third. And that's the second out. Stepping in, Andy Young. He was a ground out victim last time up. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was. Well, the play's been made and that retires the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now. So here's the cleanup hitter, Luis Garcia. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the one and one pitch. That one's down around the knees, taken for a strike. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Beer has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. Now in the box, Alec Keller. One for two on his line so far in the game. Keller. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. One out, nobody on. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. A payoff pitch one more time. Line drive to left. And that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. The batter, the first baseman, Aldrin. To the plate now, Aldrin Corridor. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The West Tunnel is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. 
Mac Williamson will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. Lifted in the air out to center field. Thomas is there now, and he has it. Two gone. So striding forward now, Jake Knoll. We'll see if he can come through in a clutch spot here. Two on, two out here in inning number six. A one one. Is swung on and missed for strike number two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Fernando Abad will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Adrian Sanchez is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number five, Adrian Sanchez. This is on the ground over to first, and that's through into right, so a leadoff single here to start the seventh. The batter, the shortstop, Camden. Into the box, Camden Duzanak. And he rolls over this one foul. We'll do it once more. Three and two. Abad is among a dying breed. Those lefty specialists whose roles are changing with the new rules around reliever usage. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Yukmani Tomah. None out. Runners at first and second. He took something off of it there. It's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Two and two. Here now the two two. Swing and a screamer, but this one's not going to stay fair. Ready with the two and two. Grounded to the right. One there. And that didn't work out too well as the pinch hitter comes on to bounce into a double play. Now batter. Into the box. Alec Thomas. Runner in scoring position with two gone. That's lifted the other way out to left. Williamson is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Jimmy Scherfe gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 54. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now to the plate, Adrian Sanchez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. <laughs> Now a swing and a fly ball. And no one will track it down. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Another 2-2 offering. This is line to left. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Now that the better fielder. Andrew. At the plate now, Andrew Stevenson. Change up, and that fades down and away, two and two. All you want is the leadoff man to get on to start a big inning, maybe get a big rally going to claw your way back into this ball game. So a full count now. Back up the middle. 
fielded cleanly. There's one on to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game. As there are quickly two away now. Digging in and looking for more. Cole Freeman. He doubled his last time through. Freeman. A one-one. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face, he's going to probably call a meeting after this. That's going to even up the count at two and two. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Line drive to left. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Sam Freeman has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 39. Leading off the inning, Seth Beer, as they'll look for some added insurance before the bottom half of the inning. One one home hit out towards second. Oh and it eats him up a bit and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Now batting John Jay in his career versus this pitcher. He's one for two. Ready with the one and one ground ball to second. This could be two to second for one on to first and Jay is gone. It's a double play. So coming to the plate, Kevin Crone. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Going back is the left fielder at the track. And it's gone. Standing in now, Wyatt Matheson hit weakly on the ground to short. He's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Robbie Scott is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Robbie. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Here's the catcher, Wellington Castillo. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and he was locked up by a good fastball for strike three last time. I'm interested to see if they attack him the same way. Come at him with hard velo late or snap something off in the dirt to see if he'll fish. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. At the plate, Luis Garcia. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. You don't see too many guys at this level be late on off speed pitches right there. That tells me he was totally sitting on something else or was going automatic take. Popped him up. Young is calling for it. He's got it and there are two down now. So stepping in Alec Keller quickly down to their final four outs here tonight. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled off. The one two. And he makes good contact there, but this is going to find the stands foul down the right field line. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over.
Aaron Barrett enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Ready for another shot now. Andy Young. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He's there and records the first out. Digging in once again, okay. Dalton Varsho. He singled his last time up. Varsho. The one two. Bases are empty, one man out. Scorched to third. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw just does beat him to the bag as that was pretty close. Ready once again, Camden Duzanak. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. This is in the air to left field. Williamson's under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Justin Donatella will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Lucas Herbert will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 37, Lucas Herbert. The 1 1 home. It's the outside corner for the second strike. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. Sliding into the box, Mac Williamson. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. And now pitch on the way. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two, but when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Jay is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Brody no, Reed will get the call here as he'll hit for the for pitcher. Grizzly, number 65. Brody Reed. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, a great win for these guys as they wrap up another one. But a little bit of a sour note, though. Everyone has to head home, get on those computers, and get those taxes out before midnight. Four nothing to score tonight. Reno jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Taylor Widener gets the win on the mound his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From my partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show.